Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The hottest news today is your insurance rates. Yes, where you get to keep the doctors that you like will might be increasing two to three times. Yes, in premiums a month. What? Oh, well for now we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, that's what uh, Nancy Pelosi said, that they're going to, uh, that the public is turning against Republicans in every state because they know that they're, they're, they're the party of no and they do nothing constructive. And we've offered health care and um, we're offering a chance to study the arts and things. And, and then, then they come up with the fact, well, the party of no is the party that says somebody has to pay the bills. And the Democrats, Every time they, okay, they're running into oppositions in blue states about raising taxes. They think that, that there's a good chance Jerry Brown is going to lose his governorship over the fact that businesses are fleeing Silicon Valley and they're fleeing the whole state because it is the most expensive state in the United States to work in. Housing is out of reason and they're getting ready to double the gas tax in California and they're going to double this. Remember he said that this sales tax increase was going to be the last increase for a decade. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they want to double the sales. Uh, they're going to put it, we need to have infrastructure repair and Republicans won't allow it. And the trick is, he can't get any taxes through his supermajority in the Senate and House in California because they know they've reached the end of the line on raising taxes. They want to raise gasoline tax by twice what it is to make it over a dollar a gallon. I think they want a 14, they want a 14 cent a, uh, raise at, it's, it's now like seven cents, they want to raise it to 21 cents sales tax on every dollar you spend now. Mm -hmm. And Obama grants everyone a hardship on Obamacare till after the 2016 election. Yeah. Everyone gets a hardship. Everyone, all you have to do is to tell people you, you can't, you know, you couldn't get online because it was broken. The, the, the president misled you. The Democratic Party misled you. For the, everybody? So everybody, nobody pays for Obamacare? No, they said everybody. Anybody that bothers to listen to, okay, they're not being told this by Obama's friends in the media because they don't want people to know the president already had done it by executive order months ago. But um, the people on, you know, like the New York Times is pushed. Okay, when the New York Times uh, and, the, um, and the Los Angeles Times published that Obama had actually secretly did an executive order months ago, He's basically not even, other than stage things on Obamacare, he's not saying a single word about it anymore in public. Mm -hmm. And North Korea fires 10 short-range missiles. Well, because they're, they're, you know, they know that the President of the United States is going to basically, if they, if they actually invade the South, the South will fight, but the President of the United States will uh, put sanctions on North Korea. Like eight or nine people will have their visas revoked and their money in the United States can find, but not until after they've sold the property they have in the country and taken all the money out of their bank accounts. And new uncertainty about missing Malaysian plane. Oh, they don't know what's going on. I love this. Well, it's obvious it was probably a suicide by the pilot. Well, I don't know. I'm not playing. Let's see. Uh, and Cindy was a, a, a you know, a, a criminology graduate. My father was a police officer. And my father will tell you, and the crim classes will tell you, people that commit suicide always want everyone to know they've done it. You don't do it in secret. And, well, he flies the plane for seven hours, be, you know, just zigs and zags like they do when they don't want you to know where they're going. And then he plows it into the ocean. And that's not a person committing suicide, folks. They also found out that he had landing, he had uh, six landing strips in air, uh, already singled out in parts of the world that are not friendly to non-Muslims. Uh, had them singled out? He basically had been practicing landing on them with uh, his thing. He'd also been practicing low altitude flying on his simulator. Uh -huh. And they found one date has been completely removed from a simulator's uh, hard drive, which he, they don't watch NCIS and, and Malay in Malaysia because it's, a, it's basically a non-approved Muslim show. If he had a, he would have known that there is no such thing as removing the material from your hard drive as long as your hard drive is still usable. So guess what that means? They know exactly where to look. Well, they, they will when the, when the Chinese basically squeeze it out of them. They also found out, well, yes, they did have 
they did were able. They did have a radar tracking of the airplane uh, skimming the ocean. They said it. Well, they said they got a tracking of it coming up into the radar, which happens. What happens is the turbulence gets bad because I was taught when I was in the Navy to do the wave hop. But the problem comes sometimes the weather gets too bad and you have to fly up a bit to keep the waves from hitting your plane. What happened was because the thing is like six stories in the air, that he had to come up at t sometimes come up, you know, like he's doing like this and the waves are getting too bad, he had to come up like this. And when he came up like this to escape the turbulence, guess what? A great portion of his airplane is in the radar thing and then they dip down again. First, they don't think anything of it, but it was a continuous up and down because of bad weather. Mm -hmm. And Pacific Ocean gobbles up car after hours parking on the beach with photos. Oh, it's what happened because, um, what, uh, you know, okay, they ban cars on the beaches nowadays, you know, not as much because of the fact that uh, they don't want cars down there, and because most cars that go on the beaches have wider tires, so it's easy to do it. But the problem is they go into areas that basically are undermined with water, they don't realize it. Mm -hmm. and then so the guess car, what happens? Then the car sinks into the sand, and then the, then the tide comes in and takes the car out. Because we were there a couple, what was it, a week or so ago, and the beach front, you could actually have waded out probably four or five hundred foot mm -hmm. onto the sand. And when the water is back, people think that it's safe to do that. No, no, not, not right. I love this one. Mini skirt turbulence at Japan Budget Airline. Okay, there is no, those women do not have mini skirts on. Basically, the dresses are, are above their knees and basically, the, it's not a Japanese, they're not Japanese, they're Koreans because they're all heavier women. You, they, one guy said, well, the fuss was actually, they didn't want to see those women in those above the knee skirts because it looked like, they said they saw a couple of women that probably would have been better playing pro football than they would have been as airline hostess. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, very chavette. And Irish asked, what's the big deal about letting gays in the St. Pat's Parade? Because there is no big deal. They've always allowed people in the St. Patrick's Parade. They St. Patrick's is not allowed to do advertisements for anything other than, you know, like the, say you can plug, you know, they're sponsoring it. But they're using it, um, the gay and lesbian people and for Latinos are trying to use it for political purposes. I mean, for every politician used to march in them because they just needed to be seen mm -hmm. because that in was the, a out huge, of the community. Yeah, and basically the unions are, are pissed off because they pay these guys a fortune, then they don't march. It, uh, St. Patrick's Parade is a heavy parade for unions and, and cities where there's large Catholic populations. Mm -hmm. And U.S. Navy ship quits search for Malaysian airliner. Because the assumption is they know where the airliner is, so there's no reason for a ship. Uh, because, okay, let's put it this way, it costs as much to go back and forth in the ocean there as it does to go back and forth in the part of the ocean it was in. And you can do the same job from either part because you can launch a cruise missile from there as well. And Texas man learns he's on an obscure government watch list isn't getting answers. No, they don't. Uh, you can, okay, what happens is, I know I got a relative on it, uh, you know, she's six foot three inches tall, red hair trimmed, and they're looking for a black woman with the same name, <laughs> who, who is short, fat, and old. Yeah, but she's not <laughs> The same name, and basically what happens is, you get, the, you get to the point where they're going to review your case, and then they put new cases on top of it as the new things come in, so every time you get to the anywhere near the top, a whole load of other people are waiting. It's like... It's, uh, you can, once you get on the list, it's virtually impossible, especially if you happen to be Jewish. Mm. And why Netanyahu and Abbas can't agree why? Uh, because the guy wants to destroy Israel. That's sort of the big disagreement right there. This morning, they attacked Syrian positions in uh, they basically they attacked the pro-Syrian forces and the anti-Syrian forces because they're both firing missiles into Israel. Said it doesn't make any difference because most of the people that want the Assad out in Syria are the <coughs> Al Qaeda people who wanted to make it a, a Muslim wonderland. And a Monty bubble is from Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, this is from Mark Twain. How do you know when a politician is lying when they open their mouth? <laughs>